Last year, Goodwill in my region raised their prices three times in a single year, and February has hit, so the first price increase of this season has just taken place. What's going on, everybody? This is Brendan, the channel is Dan Plan. I am the one man show. Prices haven't gone up all across the board in my region, but jeans went from $6.99 to $8.99. Shoes have gone from 439 to 469 to 489 last year, all the way up to 529 this year. Now I haven't seen price increases completely across the board over all the categories, but far be it from Goodwill to use a great excuse like inflation, even though they don't pay a single dime for their cost of goods. Anyway, we're going to the thrift stores. I'm taking you along for the ride. We are going to shop until we drop like we always do. Let's go see if I can find anything to flip online. All right, this is a very late in the afternoon trip. So we're talking around maybe four, five o'clock. I think most of the things that were going to come out from the back are already out. I don't think they're going to be rolling anything else out. And I apologize in advance if I still sound a little bit nasally. We're still getting over sniffles in the household here. We're doing okay. So uh, I apologize in advance if I sound slightly different than I normally do. Anyway, we're gonna check the carts that have come out. I'm really surprised nobody has picked up this Betty Boop cookie jar. So take a look at her right here. She's got like this biker hat on. Still a very popular character. I think when they transitioned from making her like more adult centric to more kid friendly back in, I don't know when this was, maybe 50s or 60s, is when her popularity started to slightly decline. But I've seen this exact cookie jar here sell for $85 with free shipping. It's got the tag on the bottom. Depending on how this cleans up, I think I'm also going to list it for 85, even though I've seen the same one sell in the $30 range a few times. I'm not gonna pay attention to those sales. I'm gonna focus on, can I get that thing clean, pristine with the sticker on it? And if I can, I'm actually gonna shoot for $150, but if I can't, I'll still offer it at 85, was a great find. I think it was only going to be $10. That's really all I saw on those carts. So swung over into the toy section. This little Cinderella carriage used to be a bolo. It is, uh, I think they want $5 for it. It's missing, obviously Cinderella, I'm missing the horse. But just this piece alone, and it does light up, used to sell for like $30, $40, $50. It's not much of a bolo anymore, but I'm definitely picking up the Little Bo Peep lamp. This will probably be the third one that I have sold since I started reselling. It's a very popular item. It's the more expensive version with the round bottom. And it's funny because if you look at the progression of the Bo Peep character, and this is a Toy Story 4 lamp, by the way, but like in the first one, she played sort of this, you know, damsel in distress type of character. And I don't even think she was in the third one. Then you fast forward to the fourth one and she's this fierce, independent, strong-willed main character type. It was somebody with little girls at home. It's nice to see a woman or a main character, female portrayed in that light. Um, I will probably list that at $60. And then I think I'm going to also grab this 952 character here. I don't know exactly, I, it's from an anime show. The box, when I was doing the research, doesn't look like it's an authentic box. I'm not really well versed in like anime figures. There's no minifigures in those Legos, so I have to pass those up. But if it's a legit, not counterfeit item, it's gonna cost me six. I'll list her for 30, um, 95202. I didn't do a ton of research on what that show is about, but the box, when I was researching the comparables, is different. It doesn't have like the company branding on it, the one that I'm holding on to. So I'm, I suspect that it might not be authentic, but things that come from overseas aren't, it's not, that's not always the case. So 30 bucks if it's real and I list it. I'm gonna pass up on that chair. That chair is no longer a bolo. I'm gonna move over here and I, I would have picked up this light bright. I think this is from the 90s but it didn't have, just based on the comparable research that I was doing, enough pegs in my opinion. So what they want, $7 for it. But listings that had three, four, 500 pegs were selling in like the 25 to $30 range. I don't think that had that many. I think it had maybe half that. So I'm gonna leave that behind at $7. Same with this McDonald's milk glass mug. I might be able to get $10 for it. 
might cost me a dollar if I'm willing to wait, but the McDonald's milk glass bolos that you want to keep your eye out for are the ones that have the smiley face figure on it. They're the smaller, like kind of regular size mugs. You can get those at a good price. That's the bolo that you want to pay attention to. This one here, like the high glass, I think I'm just gonna leave that behind because I really don't want to sit, even though it is a dollar, I don't want to sit and wait and it looks like it's a long time between sales on that version of McDonald's milk glass. So I'm gonna put it back on the shelf and we're gonna check the glass to see if there's anything else that looks unique something that maybe is being offered at a good price. I did find some Waterford Crystal that was marquee here in one of my last videos that I have listed. It was a picture frame. I've got that on my eBay store right now for $25. Those glasses looked unique and actually I think I remember somebody putting them in the cart, those holiday related glasses that you just saw. So someone picked those up. So we're moving on to shoes here. Bradley Exchange Ohio State. <laughs> That's definitely not a bolo here. I'm definitely gonna grab the Converse Jack Purcells though. So depending on how these clean up, cause they do need a little bit of a wipe down, um, they're gonna cost, as you can see, or as you saw before, $5.30 now. They are no longer $4.89. And um, I'm probably gonna end up pricing these at $30. I actually have a $2,000 pair of Jack Purcells pre-Converse from the 1960s listed at grailed.com. So that was a really unique find. It took me a long time to get those listed on Grail. They just, they just sat and sat and sat. But I have a pretty unique pair over there. But these ones here are $30. And I don't think I'm going to ask for more than that. They'll probably be a little bit of a challenge to clean up the midsoles because they look like they had some definite wear there. And then we're going to move to the, uh, like the trinkets section probably the section that i neglect the most just because there's a lot that i don't know and i i tend to move fast when i'm in the stores because i'm trying to maximize my time and my efficiency when i am sourcing and that doesn't leave a lot of time to learn on the fly so i will pass things up and i will miss things just because i'm trying to fit it in in a very small amount of time i will be spending much more time working my ebay store on an average weekly basis than I did last year. So that will give me a little bit more time to kind of slow it down and pick things up that I normally wouldn't pick up and do a little bit more research. But I didn't do a ton of that last year. I was trying to um, cut the hours that I worked just to obviously see if it was possible and leave room. Other things, content creation being one of them. So we'll be working a little bit more here in 2023 on the eBay store i like this this was a was this gibson gibson usa urban market butter dish there was a comp that was i think to around twenty dollars so that might have been a pickup at five but i left that behind some frosted glass here a little polar bear i think got some damage on the back so i left that behind didn't see any marks on there that would indicate that it was a valuable piece but again not my strong suit so move over to the other section of carts here. This is a very boring bolo, but it is definitely a bolo. Just a case of four Honeywell filters, nothing special here, all brand new in the package. And I'm gonna grab this. The box was only $9. I could sell these individually, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is just listing these together as a four pack. I saw one sell for $54 with free shipping, so I'll probably list mine at 40 bucks it's only going to cost me nine dollars i love items like this this is the thing that you know keeps resellers going it's so easy to mark up all of the exciting bolos but this boring stuff comes out all the time and it's a useful tool right it's not necessarily a tool that you want to buy or an item that you want to buy because you want it it's an item that you buy because you need it it's a need-based item so I'll grab that I don't recognize the pattern on this here and I didn't see a stamp on the bottom I could have Google lensed it but again I'm, I'm probably just being lazy at this point looking for something a little bit more recognizable and I don't see that actually you'll see here in just a second I saw something that you don't normally see at least in this location and that was a, a Wii game that had snuck out onto the carts I don't end up picking it up I think it was well we'll see here in a second Call of Duty, something like that. 
but that usually never happens. All of that stuff always goes to the online store unless you are in an area that has literally no competition and the stores don't care. I've seen some, a couple of videos recently where uh, some colleagues of mine are sourcing major, major scores of video games inside stores. It's, that's just crazy to me. Anyway, we're going to move over to shoes. These came out on a cart, but the gentleman set them up on the shoe aisle. Nakona boots, style 5015. The nice thing, I guess, about the... Actually, they're in really nice condition. The nice thing about this boot is... I, it's a women's size 10. I like the larger sizes. Just they, they seem to sell a little bit quicker for me than uh, they than the smaller sizes do. Generally speaking, boots are seven dollars now in this store, but I think I'm gonna price these at forty dollars. I think that's a fair price. I've seen some nine, some nine and a half selling in the forty, fifty, sixty dollar range. Checking Terra Peak, if I remember correctly. So I think I'm gonna put them at forty dollars, and we'll check to see if there's something that maybe he set up here that I missed, but. I'm definitely not afraid to try new brands that I've never sold before. So we're gonna roll with that and then we're gonna check the sporting goods before we leave here. And I get pretty lucky with this bat here, Marucci. The style is pure, it's a 29.18. What was the price on this? I think they only wanted $4 for it. You can see the model number right there, MFPP. I think maybe that's II. And in pretty decent condition, and in the last 90 days, a couple of $50 solds. So that's probably what I'll price that at, and I might go into Terra Peak just to get a clearer picture, a longer length of time frame, because it that might tell me that it's worth more. Maybe the bat should be priced at 56, or excuse me, 60, 70 dollars. But right now, with those $50 comps, I will absolutely take that. So baseball season is now for resellers. Make sure you're sourcing the gloves the balls, the bats, the helmets, anything that is game related. And we've talked about that before. I'll check the golf area. I really don't see anything, but good score on that bat, fair price. And uh, I like everything we've got. All right, so I spent $45.30 for everything you saw in the video today. And then assuming the Betty Boop cookie jar can be sold for $150 brand new, that brings my total listed value for everything to $400. So a pretty good spread for all of the items that you did see in this video today. Thank you for sticking with me. My next video is gonna be a what sold video. It will cover all of January. It was a little bit rough, but we'll talk about kind of the tale of two halves of that month, if you will. Brendan here, Dan Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that's it, that's all I've got for you today. Time to go rest. We'll see you again, thanks.